We have had back to back to back storm systems here across the Western Pacific and specifically the Philippines. And now we got another named storm. This has been named Goni by the Japan Meteorological Agency. It will be named Roly once it enters the Philippine area of responsibility. But what I mean by back to back back storms, we have No Lympha Nanka. Awful saw down in Malave over the course of the last month and a half. It's absolutely incredible how many storms we have had over central and northern Luzon. And every time you get another storm, it's just uh, that much worse because people are still picking up the pieces. Ground is already saturated, so flood threat continues to increase. It's just a, a rough situation out here. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, please do follow me on all these social media platforms if you want more updates outside of these videos. All right, so let's talk about our storm system here, located just towards the northwest of Guam, towards the east of the Philippines, south of Okinawa. I know if you're out here in Okinawa, uh, probably worried a little bit about these storms. Good news, you got big old high pressure which is going to be keeping them further down towards the south. So not too much to worry about there. As far as our storm right now, though, it is a minimum tropical storm. Winds of 65, gusting up to 92 miles per hour. Pressure is not all too deep, 1,002 HPA moving towards the west at about 15 kilometers per hour. I said miles per hour. It should be kilometers per hour uh, with these uh, sustained winds out of this. Moving along the southern edge of this area of high pressure, as I previously mentioned, that means as it follows that overall background flow, we're likely going to see it come on shore here in the central over towards southern Luzon. Now, that's where it's going to be going. As far as the intensification, signs point towards Yes, it will intensify. Uh, main reason, we got some pretty warm sea surface temperatures located off the east coast of the Philippines here. But also, look at all this moisture inflow. Uh, this is staying away from that dry air off towards the north. If it was a few degrees further north, I would think that might interact with it. But it's not enough to really cause this to subside enough as it cr crawls off here towards the southwest. So that means we got moisture, we got warm sea surface temperatures, and we're moving into an area of laxed wind shear. Thus, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center actually expects a Cat 3 equivalent on the Saffron Simpson scale as this comes on shore with winds about 105 knots sustained at landfall. Totally not out of the realm of possibility. We saw Moave, Quinta known in the Philippines, um, we saw that rapidly intensify just prior to landfall. We see that often. The Philippine Sea effect, it just blows these storms up. Not very well likely it's going to be the case with this one. Uh, numerical guidance also expects that little spike just prior to landfall and it weakens as it moves over Luzon, but just a, a general increase there. Plus, it's pretty concrete and high confidence on where exactly this will go. My last video, I explained this in more detail. You can just see kind of the numerical guidance all matching up there. East of Manila, central to southern Luzon with that surge threat basically in a lot of these bays up towards uh, the north. But just take a look at some of that mid-level relative humidity. It's high. Shear starts to lax off. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of factors going into play here to get this. The numerical guidance from the ECMWF shows a move towards the southwest coming on shore in southeastern Luzon. So big issue, wind damage is going to be with this, especially as it cruises inland. I do think we're going to get some down trees, some buildings of blowing around debris, things like that. People are still picking up from Malave, any loose debris that may have been knocked about from that storm. Still going to be on the ground. That's going to get picked up and tossed. Plus surge. I mean, we always talk about surge. If we get a Cat 3 cruising in at about 15 to 20 kilometers per hour, uh, a lot of these bays and inlets on the east coast very well could see a little bit of flooding. Now, good news, as opposed to, let's say, Tacloban, we've seen that with Haiyan. Uh, a lot of the villages here used to this evacuate, get out of the way, uh, just in case that flood water level rise. And it's not a Cat 5 in the forecast right now. It's only a Cat 3. But, I mean, they, they get super typhoons here. So, um, typhoon fatigue is definitely a thing since we have seen back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back storms. But, uh, hopefully, people still realize that this is going to be a dangerous one if the forecast does progress as expected. Further inland, by the way, after this does impact, Manila over towards Subic, uh, the Cagayan Valley, could see some pretty significant flooding as well just because of that heavy rain on already saturated grounds meanwhile by the way you got our storm here we got our next invest area located towards the south of guam i'm not going to get into the weeds with this one just yet because still early put that big bold letters you guys can read it 
still early. I want to concentrate on Goni first, but this is your general track. What I am expecting is to kind of move towards the north, rounding that west pack high, and then coming west after that. Some of the numerical guidance has pulled it further towards the north and east around Taiwan, even into the southern Japanese islands. Other ones have actually pushed it off here by late next week. It's a big disparity because 200 hours out, the dynamics, the overall synoptic setup, when I'm just what's going on out here, can change quite significantly in the course of a week and a half. So we got time to watch it. Right now, typhoon possible landfall by Sunday into Monday, at least Sunday evening, based on what I'm seeing right now. So Sunday, you know, just get ready for this storm. If it comes in a little bit early, I know church is important. You always want to put those priorities first though. Make sure you guys stay safe. New storm developing south of Guam. Let's watch Goni first, like I said. Then we'll talk about the next storm. Goni's the one that I am worried about. Anyways, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Check out my Facebook and Twitter. I post stuff out here all the time. Pacific Typhoon Season Facebook group. It is a group on Facebook. Check that out. The guy, it's not just me. It's tons of people posting really uh, incredible stuff as far as the information flowing there. It's really great. And uh, Western Pacific Weather on Facebook. I started that page 15 almost 15 years ago feels like so long nah, and uh it's still running good i'm not i don't have my hands in it as much but a few people are running that and it's some really great graphics so go check that out anyways i'm done rambling hope you found this video useful stay safe out there